Good morning everyone. So today got a little bit of bonus footage for you. On my way to Wing Ding, notice that my rear tire, the air pressure, was a little bit low. 36 was reading. I guess it should be at 41. So I said I'm gonna put some air in it with my air compressor. Now I carry these little blue latex nylon gloves. I guess I don't know what nitrate gloves. Carry these with me just in case I need to do a repair on the side of the road I got something to protect my hands I guess I could use my motorcycle gloves but I figured I'd just take these now could I have gone to a gas station and just put air in it yes but I bought this slime as you can see mini air compressor in the event that if I was on a road trip and I had a tire failure because I got a tire repair kit that I could use this to uh, pump my air back up. So I figured I got a little time to kill today. Let's see if uh, this thing actually works. So I got the little connector here. This quick connect. On my bike and put the bike up on the center stand because I figured that was the easiest way to do it plus I couldn't figure out any other way to do it other than putting it on the center stand and if you guys have suggestions how to do this better I have no idea what I'm doing so again it's first time we'll see if this thing even works right, first thing I'm gonna do let's get this connected to my thing. So here it is. I don't think you guys can see that, but it's going to get connected. Put the cap off. That on. Connect this. To my quick connect that's right here whatever they call this thing I call it a quick connect it's my battery tender but you know you know what I'm saying you know I don't have the right words all right connect that now I'm gonna I assume I should turn the bike on since I'm running the battery I don't know if that's true or not let me know if I could have kept the battery off but I'm gonna turn the bike on now I guess I hit this thing. Oh, hold on. You know what? I wonder if there's a way on the bike. It'll give me the air pressure. I guess it won't while I'm sitting. It won't tell me. Alright. Okay. I'm gonna let this run. I don't know how long to let this thing run. Sliding all over the place. Got something to put on it. They gave me one of these little cheapo things. To test the pressure. So I guess I gotta try that. Should be a way though. I just don't know how to do it. to see the pressure. PSI. Alright. I'm just guessing here. Let me turn it off. It's a little loud. Not too loud, but a little loud. Take that off. See if I can read the pressure. And this little sticky thing. Oh, it says uh, it's about 41! Looks like about 41. You know what? I don't know if that worked. I'm going to call it a success. We'll see when I get back on the bike if the thing is off. So, now I'm going to do is turn the bike off because I don't need it on. And put this. Take 
this off. Try to put this away. Oh, let me put my cap back on my thing. Oh, what was that? So I'll put that back on. Okay, I'm going to say this little thing was successful. Don't really know yet. I'll let you know if I get any um, indicators that I have low pressure on the bike. So a little bonus footage for you there on the trip to Wing Ding 41. I bring you everything, even air in the tire. So, so far, so good. I would say if you want to pick up one of those slime things, little air compressors, they seem to work. All right. All right, I'm going to pack, pack all this stuff up throw some stuff out and I will catch you soon. Thanks for watching.